Welcome to WBMA some postgame extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Saturday night at City Field, the Phillies built a 10 to nothing lead. The Mets almost staged the greatest comeback in their history, but they fall short against the Phillies 10 to 8. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> Sean Gilmartin started for the Mets tonight in place of the uh, ailing Noah Syndergaard, pushed back because of strep throat. It did not go well for Gilmartin. You know, it's what my job is to do, so I've got to be ready for it. Um, you know, preparation-wise, I was ready to go out there and, and do my job, and I wasn't able to. So that's that's on me. You know, just like Gilly, he's been in the bullpen any, most of the time in the big leagues to have to start. You know, he's got to, he thinks he's got to be perfect, and you just know it's, something's one of these times something's going to happen. But, uh, uh, again, we came back and gave ourselves a chance to win. Um, tomorrow we got seven left, and um, you kind of like, the pitching going forward right now. Well, Gil Martin didn't even get out of the first inning. I'm going to have to use my glasses tonight because so much is going on in this game. It was 10 nothing. Gil Martin gave up five runs in the first inning in two thirds of an inning. Montero came in and he didn't do fair much better. He got out of the first inning, but he gave up five runs and and two and a third. And then the Mets, t uh, Terry Collins took out his regulars, put in his AAA team, and I'm talking about pretty much the whole field was AAA. And they're the ones that mounted this comeback. I was told a long time ago by Jim Leland, who you guys know mentored. I, I listened to every word he said. He told me, when you're getting your butt kicked, get your stars out and get those other guys in because they're playing for something. They're playing for jobs. And I'll tell you, I, I absolutely tip my hat to the job those young kids did tonight. They had energy. Uh, they ran those bases like Kevin Long told me. They were running like their hair's on fire. Guys going first to third and trying to score from first and – uh, tremendous comeback, just and I'm real proud of him. Led by Gavin Cicchini, the uh, rookie shortstop, the former first-round draft pick, had his first two big league hits, both of them RBI doubles. He did, and, uh, and frozen ropes, too. He hit uh, two rockets and drove in, what, two runs or so much here, folks. Uh, a home run, uh, who hit the home run? Bruce, that's another thing we got to talk about. Bruce came in and pinched it in the ninth inning, and he hit a home run down the right field line. His 30th of the year, fifth is a Met. That could be a positive sign. Let's hope that he can build on that. But this game had a little bit of everything. The Phillies just played awful again. They got the Mets back in the game, and the Mets scored uh, four in the bottom of the fifth. They made two errors in that game and opened the door for the Mets. And, boy, I'll tell you what, this AAA team down there, the AAA players, excuse me, uh, they are major leaguers. They did a great job tonight. You know, you're looking at Gavin Cicchini, who's, you know, first two hits. I mean, all of a sudden, he now thinks, hey, look, you know, I do belong here. Um, you're looking at Brandon Nimmo, who's continually putting good at-bats together. Mike Conforto, I mean, he didn't, he didn't get any hits, but, you know, he had, again, worked the count, got deep in the count. Those are all things that are going to help us down the road as we, as we go into this final week. And, uh, you know, you put them in a game now to pinch hit or you double switch and you got to get them in a game. They think they belong. It was crazy. Uh... I think I almost tripped around going around first base, but uh, it was it was awesome, man. It's it's something that you know you always dream of as a kid, um, you know, being out there and, and getting your first big league hit, and it's like, you know, weight is lifted off your shoulders. So, um, you know, I'm I'm really grateful, and I give God, uh, God all the glory, and I'm I'm happy to be here and helping the team, you know, uh, contribute to this uh, playoff one, uh, race. That's had the tying runs on base in the ninth against Michael Marriott, but Conforto. Uh, and uh, Duda unable to come through, and so the Mets fall short as uh, the Mets fall to the Phillies by the score of 10 to 8. So the final game of the series on Sunday afternoon, Robert Gazelman will pitch for the Mets. Our coverage begins at 12:30 with City pregame live on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason postgame extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.tv.